As the school year ends, there are a few steps to take to close out your Google Classroom. This will help keep Classroom, Calendar, and Drive clean and organized for you and your students. There are five main steps, returning student work, removing students, archiving your class, deleting the class calendar, and then organizing the folders in Drive. These are described in detail on this Google document or in the webinar. The first step is to return student work. Step one is to return student work so students own their own files. When a student turns work into you or submits it, you become the owner until you return it when they become the owner again. To return work from your main Google Classroom screen, click on the three lines to the left and select to review. The default shows the work for all classes that needs to be reviewed. Use the drop down menu to select the class you're working on. For each assignment, where you can see someone has turned the assignment in and you haven't returned it, click where it says Turned In. You can select individual students or all students who have turned it in and click Return. Repeat those steps for any other assignments in which you think students might want to own their own work. Step two is to remove students from your class. Once you do this, students can no longer see the stream or assignments in your class, and their main classroom page looks less cluttered. Students will still be able to find all their returned work in their Google Drive Classroom folder. To remove students, click the People tab in your class, select the button to select All Students, and at the Actions dropdown, choose Remove. You'll get a dialog box asking if you definitely want to remove these students, and you can click the Remove button. Step three is to archive your class. When you archive, it places your class in a separate area within Google Classroom and preserves the class materials. You won't see it in your active classes on the Classes page, but you can access it if you need it. Please remember not to archive classes you didn't create or master classes for different subject areas. If you're switching grades and don't want to be on a master class anymore, you can delete your name or leave the class or ask the coordinator to remove you. To archive your class, come to the three dots in the corner of the class card and select Archive. This still allows you to reuse post and assignments from this class in the future, or to copy the class in the future if you want to use it again. Click Archive again to confirm. If you need to find your archived class at any point, go to the three horizontal lines, scroll beneath your active classes, and there's a menu option called Archived Classes. Step four is to delete the class calendar. To eliminate clutter in your Google Calendar, you can delete calendars from old classes so that they no longer show up in your account. To delete the class calendar, on the left side of calendar, look for the class name and click the three dots to the right. Select Settings and Sharing, and then scroll down in the Remove Calendar section, you can click Delete. A pop-up window will ask you to confirm the deletion. Step five is to organize your class folders in Drive. In Google Drive, there is a folder called Classroom. Each time you create or join a class in Google Classroom, it creates a folder in your Google Drive in the folder called Classroom. As you're organizing the Classroom folder in Drive, be sure not to delete it. It's very difficult to replace. In the folder for each class is where assignments, documents, and files are held. At the end of the year, we suggest making a new folder in Classroom called old classes or archived classes. 
then drag any classes that you won't be using anymore or that you've archived into the old classes folder. Following these five steps will help wrap up your Google Classroom for the year and leave it clean and organized and ready to use in the fall if you wish. If you need any help following any of the steps, please refer to the more specific document with steps on it or ask your building ITS for help.